everybody to Joe Painting Season 2, The Smash Series. Uh, we're doing things a little different this season. Um, I'm sitting down at a desk, we're working on different canvases. We have, um, we're using paint pens instead of brushes and other, I uh, like oil paints and stuff like that. We're taking a little more kind of a graphic approach to it, a little more casual approach, um, and just having fun, just drawing, practicing construction and just sort of, you know, your relationship with the canvas. Um, so yeah, we're starting out with uh, Samus Aran from the Metroid series, um, and I can see I'm finishing up here, so we're going to dive right in and get started. Alright, thanks y'all. See you in a minute. Hello everybody, and welcome to iteration two of the Joe of Painting. Um, we're doing something a little ambitious this time around. We're going to be attempting and succeeding at doing the portraits of all 35 characters from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Uh, why Brawl, do you ask, and not the newest one on the Wii U? Um, it's because Brawl is the one I've played the most. Played it with all my friends in college. Though I've played all the Smashes, this is that's the one that I really was like, that was the heyday of Smash for me. And today we are starting with Samus Aran. And so you can see I have these little 10 by 10 uh, canvases, they're board canvases. Um, it's just like a, a thick cardstock wrapped in this, I guess it's a fabric, I don't know what you would call it, but um, they came white. I took some very ultra flat black spray paint, gave them a good coating, and then on top of that, um, I did a little bit of a, a matte, kind of a clear fixative, just to keep that uh, black paint there on the canvas. Because um, when I started doing this, just practicing to see what we could make happen for this uh, new season, um, I noticed my paint pens were picking up the black paint and kind of mucking them up. Um, but I gave them a little spray, it kind of set that black paint, and now my, my pens can glide a little uh, more easily. And what we'll be doing is using our Posca paint pens. We've got three calipers here. And, you know, these are very juicy, very um, kind of home run colors. You're, you know, they're very, uh, you know, you can kind of create any sort of color combinations with this set. You don't need 500 different color pens, you know. I would say, compared to the first season of Joe Painting, um, I would say this is a, a lower end of uh, picture making. It's just quicker and more striking. So that way you can really, this will really help you build an image. This, this practice will help you build an image. Um, it's more of a compositional, compositional exercise than it is blending and um, obsessing over you know, color mixing and stuff like that. So yeah, let's dive in, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with my darker colors, just laying down. And we're gonna be building in layers like you, you know, you do with any painting. Oh, also, I have this cool little Lazy Susan under here that I Velcroed this to, so I can just spin it around. And so that way, I can, you know, have it in a fixed spot and get in there rather than trying to do weird angles just because I can't turn the canvas because it's fixed. So you can do that if you want. I think I got it for like four bucks on Amazon. Same thing with all these materials. These are all on Amazon. The Posca paint pens, these little board canvases, which you can also find at Michael's. And so I'm already starting to, as I'm laying down the paint, I'm already starting to override the white colored pencil I put down on the board. Because it's not, like I said, not the final drawing or way I want my Samus represented. So as I'm filling in those lines and obeying those lines, I'm making a judgment call to go against them. And say, you know what, this would look better than the first line that I put down. And it's cool, these, you know, these felt tips, um, you know, you have a nice wide, you can get a nice wide line like these like I'm doing, but then you can kind of just skate or grind on that edge there and get finer lines. So you can go pretty fine with this, but there comes a point where you're going to want to jump down to that lower caliber. So yeah, definitely push the boundaries, challenge these pens, don't be afraid to jump to a new size. Filling in these spaces, trying to keep them, you know, the paint distribution pretty even. Paying attention to the texture of those paints. And it's okay, I mean, these dry pretty quick, so we're going to be building. Um, you can also lay other colors down on top of them and then mix right on the canvas. Again, just have fun with it. So we still got more red down here. Let's keep it moving. Her chest plate is also red. I 
And I'm doing it a lot like that just so I can uh, keep track of all of the forms that I put down with the white colored pencil. We'll be filling those in more, more color, more lighting. Alright, so she's got these big shoulder bubbles. And then over here on this side. Go ahead and bring this green in here. I'm paying attention to the texture and the way put this color on the page is because because these pens like I said are so great for graphic elements the texture in which it hits the page you know is a part of my illustration and design elements this kind of got drawn out a little bit but you know you can see there there's direction and motion it alludes to certain visual phenomenon so here I'm pushing the really pushing the limit of this chisel tip um, I'm going to save some of the more finer work for the smaller pens, but I'm going to push into those corners as best I can. Don't worry if you miss some spots. We're still, we're still sculpting. This is layer one. Go ahead and jump to the visor. Top here, Samus has a little, a little orange flare going on. And I'm just gonna see if I can use my finger to gently pad this out. I'm just trying to diffuse these edges a little bit. She's got freckles now. We'll bring some red in here. Very subtle. Very subtle. Maybe get a little more orange up here. This is where it most was, just like right up here on her crown, a little dot of orange. Swirl in some red. Ooh, that's a cool texture. I like that. It's kind of like a like fiery. And we got the same thing going on right here. It looks like a lot of the orange from her shoulder is reflecting onto her helmet. Or her helmet's picking up that color. I'm going to fill in a little more red here. It's going to get it juicy. Just bringing a little bit, whatever orange is on that red, just kind of bringing that in down here. I'm not adding any more orange, but letting it exit my pen, the brush tip on the pen, and then letting that red really come back through and enrich it with the red more so than the orange because we still have some of these similar elements happening like up here and over here in the face of her helmet. I'm going to go ahead on this green and bring in a bunch of yellow. Again, just kind of use my finger. To tease it around. She has like this Mountain Dew color visor. And I'm curious about, ooh, look at that, that's a nice color. Can you see that? Not really, I'm not gonna eat it. See now I ruined my yellow, that's the only thing. So I'm gonna have to work that green out. Luckily I have a little pad over here. So I'm gonna bring some yellow up top into this orange shoulder pad because she has this little fin. Ooh yeah. And uh, Yellow seems to be the highlight in that whole composition. And then there's a little bit of red. Some of the shadow areas are picking up the red from her helmet, so vice versa, whatever's happening here is happening over here in reverse. Pepper in some red. Just in the other side is yellow. One of those trenches. 
And I got this black strip running through here. We'll wait on that with some of that same kind of Mountain Dew green, like little LEDs. Um, same thing with the black. So I might just pop up the orange here because we're only going to really highlight with a little bit of white and black. Then we got a nice, on her gun here, or her uh, cannon rather, has a uh, pretty, pretty strong white highlight right here on the edge. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull this around and pull up as I do that as I come around this turn and it's gonna give it that kind of diffused look, hopefully. Alright, so jumping down to my finer pan. Oh, this is my smallest one. Yeah, I'll, I'll use it. I've, I've got to use it on here. But I'm just going to add some yellow, like a, like a nice little yellow eye eyelet to this light here. Just going to let the paint run. And again, just kind of diffuse it with my finger. It's okay if it seeps into the red a little bit, just because we can go over it later. I'll go ahead, I'm going to use my fat white one. Get the excess green out. Get the white flowing again. And I'm just going to use a chisel tip and I'm going to fill in this area here. Do the same thing with her because she has these two pipes. Like that's what these are. These are like looks like ventilation of some kind. Uh, I'm just gonna just kind of draw it in. Looks like there are these. The pipe has these different lobes. All right. What I want to do now? I'm beat this right up. I like to use it on my finger just because, like, the texture of the canvas. When you spread it, it gets very, looks like a half-tone aerosol thing going on. I'm going to break out my middle level black marker. I'm just going to jump around and start giving this some defining marks. Slowly come into life. And then, let's So over here, Samus has this strip running. It's big black. Looks good to me. I'm also going to do a little edge here and here. 
she's got one more that does this, it's thinner. Give it some, some dark, darker areas because when her armor diverges into shadow. This is a good time if you want to kind of beef up your this tubing here. Feel free. It's got these little grooves. I like to give this outline of energy. And again, good place to practice your chaos. So hold your canvas still and just get rid of these little lightning bolts. I'll give her some like she's in space, so I have some stars out here. I'm wasting my paint. Go in here with some of that yellow. She's got these little LED things going on. And I'm going to pull my really fine white and I might trickle in some highlights there. And right around these where these plates of the armor meet is where a lot of the highlights are happening. And then I'll jump back to my black marker. Buff all these lines. Jump back to my tiny white marker again. And just keep adding in some highlights. Man, I would love to do the same sort of uh, series paint with Overwatch characters. I think that's the best game since Halo 2. All right, I'm gonna break open this, uh, this black one just for you guys. So you can see, so fresh black pen with a white tip. And so rather than, you know, doing that right here and having all that ink brush out, I'm gonna just pop it. Boom. And just hold it upside down. Give it a couple shakes. There's like a cylinder in there that you shake that keeps the ink mixing up. And um, you know, there's no perfect way to do this because you get paint on you regardless. Which isn't a bad thing. Sometimes it's good to, rather than press all the way, just uh, get a little, little love tap. All right, we're in business. And it will get more saturated as you use it. So just be careful about your pen pressure and whatnot. Do what I just did with my white pen and just coax in some, uh, some shadows. Now, the shadows that I'm seeing in the reference aren't black on red. They're a deeper red, um, and I'm you know, just as the artist seeing, well, the best way to take in that direction is black. Um, but we don't have the same mixing capabilities that we do with, let's say, a digital canvas or even a traditional canvas. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of hatching in, very lightly, bits and strands of black that the eye um, automatically starts to combine with that red. But I'm little by little adding in the black, and um, it's starting to very that more solid red that we've been laying down throughout this whole thing. Another thing I noticed um, just in, in making stuff compositionally, um, I like to cr cross my eyes if you can do that. Not not real intense, but like um, unfocus on the picture and look at it blurred and see you know what can you make out from that and. Um, so I'm doing this, and it looks good from here, but when I really fuzz my eyes, I'm getting the value of red that I see in my reference that I do want in this shadowy area than what I'm doing down here where there's more highlights. Yeah, and again, just want to, I thought, you know, this, using these pens, though, it's a little, pr a little bit pricey, um, well, art in general is pricey, but um, this should be more accessible than oil painting for a lot of you guys, and you could just sit there on the couch or at your computer and paint along with me. Uh, I think a pack of these pens 
is like $23, which is pretty steep. But if you're going to get any size, I'd get these. These are the, uh, I think these are the five. And also, you know, because we're, these lines are so fine, you really can experiment with your hatching, your cross hatching, and what kind of textures you can create there, and what kind of shadows and light you can create there with just the direction of your lines. Take all these elements into account as you're, as you're making. Um, and the goal is just to, you know, to discover what those things do. And be, you know, as I set out to do this painting, I was like, I don't know how, how the hell I'm going to do this with these pens, but you discover that as you do it. And if you treat it as layers and not as, as soon as you put your pen to the canvas, this is the final painting. If you just trust that and give yourself the permission in the room to build and let the paint dry and have the patience and work on something, um, that's how you get better. And pay attention to what you're doing. All right, everybody. I give you... Samus Oran, space pirate thwarter, and all around badass. We're off to a great start. Uh, join us next week. Um, we'll be doing Yoshi. Yeah.